The Pentagon confirms it put a hold on weapons shipments to Israel. The move throws U.S. support for Israel now into question, even as President Biden says it's ironclad. Fox's Rebecca Castor explains. Palestinians are fleeing central Rafah by the thousands, following evacuation orders from the Israeli military. Many are heading to a humanitarian zone, where they're told they'll be safe from the fighting, but resources are depleting. We do not have even three shekels to buy a gallon of water. We want to eat, but we sold food and drink to buy our tent. The Israeli military's looming ground attack against Hamas's last stronghold goes against urgings from the Biden administration to stand down, prompting the Pentagon to pause a shipment of about 3,500 bombs to Israel, drawing varied reactions from lawmakers. This is obscene. It is absurd. Give Israel what they need to fight the war they can't afford to lose. We cannot continue to ship arms to Israel if they are not abiding by basic humanitarian requirements. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin defended the decision during a routine budget hearing Wednesday. You have to protect the people, the civilians in the battle space. We've not made a final determination uh, on how to proceed with, the, uh, with that shipment. The White House won't comment on the delayed shipment, but just yesterday, President Biden reaffirmed his support for Israel. And my commitment to the safety of the Jewish people, the security of Israel, and its right to exist as an independent Jewish state is ironclad even when we disagree. Delegations from Israel and Hamas continue discussions on a ceasefire and hostage deal, but so far they've yet to reach an agreement. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 4 News.